16 national championships between these two teams. Syracuse in town to take on Virginia alongside former Virginia. There at Lars Tiffany, the top man for Virginia, John Desco leading Syracuse. The Cavaliers in their home whites, Doug. And anytime you say Syracuse and Virginia lacrosse, you know it's going to be a good one. Yeah, it really is. And again, it always starts with the faceoff X team. Justin Swank, the transfer from Monmouth, has had an outstanding start. It's been instrumental in certainly coming back against Loyola and also played very well against the Princeton last week. So it's one nothing, And that's a big part of the game now. The defensive midfielders used to run off in transition. Now they're such good athletes for both teams. You're going to see their defensive midfielders and their poles stay in the game and stay in the offense. Off the X, ground ball picked up by Virginia. And Ryan Conrad, as good a scooper as there is in the yeah, game. Yeah, scoop and score, right, for Conrad. That's why Ryan Conrad is on the uh, pre or the early to Wharton watch list with his speed. I think he's the best scooper that I've seen coming off the wing and college across. He picks up the ground ball. He was an outstanding high school athlete. You know, this year as a junior, being more of a defensive midfielder, but picks the ground ball up and just accelerates. And again, much like the Syracuse goal, defense not. Still filing in here to Clockner Stadium. Such a great venue, beautiful crisp day here. And that's a clean, you know, they talk about people just have a nose for the goal. You know, they always talk about taking that extra step for greatness. That's exactly what uh, Krause will do. His, his dad and his uncle were outstanding players here at Virginia, both outstanding face-off men, actually. Um, and so he comes from a long line of lacrosse UVA players, but uh, he burst on the scene from day one last year, and along with Avi Alano and Mikey DiMario. Syracuse, they won four combined NCAA titles Keep in mind, between 2006 and 2011. Outstanding the grand ball right there yeah. by Jared Connors with Jay Bruegel facing off. Another transition opportunity for Virginia. Boy, third goal of the season for the junior from New York. Syracuse has won three of five from the X so far. Popped up. That ground ball is loose, still loose. Second effort, though, picked up by Syracuse. Syracuse with a 4-2 advantage from the X. Uh, just uh, Jay Bruegel, who took a number of the faceoffs last year for Virginia. Justin Swank had a great start, but uh, again, look for Virginia to use both, both faceoff men this year, this week. First violation on Virginia. If you have three and a half, it's a 30-second foul. Shoulder. Fifth of the season for Stephen Rafis, and it's given Syracuse a 4-3 lead. Now Syracuse violates, and Virginia gets the possession. Cavaliers will take it down one. They'll take the shot, too. Again. Dox Aiken, he scooped it up, the sophomore from Villanova, PA, with the finish. Well, maybe the, the best Otko would have expected his team to have slide, to, to had a slide to Aiken. Virginia's goals, Kraus, Aiken, Laviano, and Conrad. Now, again, most of the face-offs today have been either violations or clean wins. Syracuse, they've won six, Virginia's won three. Ground ball picked up Jared, by the Cavaliers. Jared Connors, who had two goals against Princeton last week, is at Virginia at their end. Yeah, you know the deal, too. If you're John Desco, you love it. You see a long pole score. But if you're Lars Tiffany, you hate that every time, don't you? Well, you really, you really hate it because it's a transition play. You're not ready to ride when you're. And a little long pole magic from Brett Kennedy. Doug, he smoked that shot there. Uh, he got tremendous. He got a full full opportunity to step and plant his feet. Again, another outstanding grand ball by Syracuse's poles. Sorry, with Alex Road making the save on the man up. So back to the X we go. Syracuse. Seven out of 12 so far. Here's Kennedy again. Quick pass, but a little bit too high. Ground ball picked up by Virginia. 
Virginia pass midfield. Numbers aren't too bad right now. Quick transition. Goals to go against Virginia's five. We got three minutes, 15 seconds left here in the second. And again, you know, Syracuse to their credit, Virginia scores, and they Syracuse comes right back and gets a big goal. What I want to do is see Virginia get on a roll, and that usually starts with face-offs. You know, you get your runs by winning face-offs in, in a bunch, and so it's going to be important for both teams to try to win face-offs and control the other team's ability to get multiple face-off wins. Syracuse with eight face-off wins. Virginia with six. Loose ball push looks like on Virginia. It's going to be a Syracuse possession to start the half. Okay, so... Not a violation, because the ball had already... No, particularly if you've got defenders in front of you. Well, good shooters know how to use the ground to their advantage. 8-5. Going to be a flag. And they'll let, it, they'll let it go as long as Virginia either doesn't score or Syracuse can get possession out of bounds. So it's they're going to let the play continue. Pass across the middle. Good extra pass. Excellent point, and... All of a sudden, they've stretched their lead here now to nine to five. Doug, after one, it was four four, and Syracuse has taken over. Well, they really have, and again, Virginia's cut down on the turnovers, but they still haven't been able to get much against Madonna. Early Doug Tearing, and they could use him. It's been quite some time since Virginia scored a goal. Well, he creates so many opportunities in the transition game and also plays in the man down in their defensive unit. So certainly can't say it's on one player, but you know, that's a loss that obviously Virginia has struggled with, particularly when it happened early in the game. From the X, it's been pretty much dead on. And Kennedy again with another big ground ball going to goal. Kennedy! I, that for Syracuse, they've got 10, three of them from Dordovic. Kennedy with the long pole, two. Trimboli, Rafis each have one. And it's 10 6. Yeah, this is, if Virginia's going to get back in the game, it's right here at the center exit on ground balls. It's going to get them back in the game, and they can't afford to turn it over. This oh. So many ground balls, nobody able to pick it up cleanly. Now they finally do. Now they've got a classic four on three. See how Syracuse plays it. Good pass over. And there is the smoke of Krause we were waiting for. Well, you got that situation where you had seven people on the ground ball at that end. Virginia able to pick it up and will rock. And the score is 10-7. Well, the hold, the loose ball hold on Virginia. Tough one right there, but uh, again, Syracuse had a half a step advantage, able to draw the just good action off the ball. Triboli, nice cut, nice feed from Ron Barry. Cavaliers. And Justin Swank carried it, kind of carried it inside the defense, no place to go. He's fortunate that Virginia, Virginia, for time, 10 full minutes. 10 3 to be exact. 11 to 8. Syracuse straight down the middle. Cavaliers, Virginia wants this, they get it. Crowd loves it. And he finisher, he's not gonna you know, run you off the end line. He doesn't necessarily carry the ball like a Kraus or a Laviano, but put the ball in his stick in a shooting spot and he's gonna c connect most of the time. And he has two big goals right through Madonna high. DeMario also with an assist. Nice little push right there for the Cavaliers. Jared Connors. Seven Comes back again, for, you know, Virginia able to make a run because they've been able to, to win some face-offs and get some saves. DeMario, three goals and an assist. See who it's gonna go, Syracuse wins it. And now, it really is about the X. So Alex Rode, he wasn't the starter when the season began for Coach Tiffany. But, boy, you look at him now, 15 saves in this one. The last two, spectacular. Again, you want to be careful. You want to ride, but you also want to make sure. You Four seconds. Again, just trying to Clock tie. is running. It's loose. Eight seconds. 
keeping it there. Syracuse trying to hang on. They'll run Who away else? for security. Kennedy. Throw it high in the air, and the Orange have wanted a penalty at the end of the game. Kind of unnecessary.